Hey what's up YouTube, this is Iconic here with Organic Chemistry Made Simple. In this video we're going to talk about sigma and pi bonds. It's a fairly simple concept. In the previous video we talked about hybridization and sp2, sp3 and all that stuff. So what is the whole idea behind sigma bonds and pi bonds? Well if you look at say methane, I mean not methane, ethane, where you have CH2 Right, and you're asked, what are, what, how many sigma bonds are there? How many pi bonds are there? Well, it's like I said, it's a fairly simple concept. Sigma bonds are <coughs> a single bond, single bond equals one sigma bond. A double bond, right? I'm just gonna do a double bond. A double bond comprises of one sigma and one pi bond and a triple bond comprises of one sigma and two pi bonds so basically that's that's that's, that's what it is right um, anytime you see a single bond be considered that as one sigma bond and anything after that you consider them as pi bonds. So in this example, right, all we have is sigma bonds. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven sigma bonds in this example. Now let me just give you another example. Uh, let's take right here. Now you're asked on now if you're asked on your exam or whatever, how many sigma bonds and how many pi bonds are in this molecule? Like I said, fairly simple concept. All first count count as many as single bonds there are. So you have one, two, three. So you have three sigma. And like I said, for a double bond, it's composed of one sigma and one pi. So we're gonna count this one as a sigma and the other one right here as a pi bond. So in this one we have three sigma and one pi bond. Now if you were asked what is the hybridization, let me erase this. What is the hybridization of the carbon and the oxygen in the same molecule and what kind of what kind of bonds are involved? You know you should be also be able to do this. So let's do the for this this car for this carbon and hydrogen what kind of hybridization is taking place and what kind of bonds are involved well for this carbon going back to my previous video right off the bat you should know that <coughs> this for this carbon is a sp um, is sp2 hybridization because there's one two three atoms and no no lone pairs so this is a sp2 I'm talking about this bond this carbon and this hydrogen and this one, it doesn't matter, but I mean, they're the same thing, but I'm going to talk about right here, this one, this carbon and hydrogen. So it's a sp2, and since hydrogen only has only one uh, one electron, one orbital, S, sp2, you know, it's like dash s, and it's a sigma bond between them, right? It's one single bond, a sigma bond. So this is the hybridization between this carbon and this hydrogen. Now, what about the bonding between the carbon and the oxygen. Let me erase this. So we're talking about the bond between this carbon, bond between this carbon and this oxygen. Okay. Well, for the carbon again, it's a uh, it's a sp2, right? And the oxygen, oh, I, I actually erased the lone pairs. The oxygen has, right, two lone pairs. So oxygen has one atom attached to it and it has two lone pairs so the oxygen is also a one atom two lone pairs three so it's also a sp2 right and now in this here's the here's the uh, thing to note in this there's two uh, there's a, a double bond and I said that for a double bond right you have one sigma and one pi so amongst this sp2 sp2 hybridization one of the bond is a I mean sigma 
and the other one is a pi bond uh, okay and um, yeah that's basically it so you know on your um, on your exams you can be given um, a molecule like I know what we had in our exams like our professor would draw just a random I mean we'll have a random molecule shown like this and you have to just count out you know how many how many pi bonds how many sigma bonds and you may be asked okay for this atom and this atom what is the hybridization and what kind of bonds are involved so basically yeah that's that's the whole concept behind it um, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And before I go, I'll leave you with some examples so you can try on your own. Example one, um, this, this molecule. Right, so what I want you guys to do is just tell me how many pi bonds and how many sigma bonds are involved in these, one, in these molecules. Example two. And I'll leave you. I'll leave you. I'll leave you with one more. This might be difficult. Let's so just erase this. Put a methyl group right here. The hydrogen right here. Okay, so here are the three examples. Example one, two, and three. And all I want you guys to do is just uh, count the number of pi bonds and sigma bonds in each of the following molecules. And that's it. I'll have the answers posted in the comment section below. Like I said, if you have any questions, please leave it. Um, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.